All right, it's time to put this alternator relocation bracket on, and it goes right here. Um, but unfortunately, this nice big phenolic spacer, um, you can see that, it, you know, it's, it protrudes a little bit from where the TGV housing is, and unfortunately, it's right there. So we're gonna have to pull that phenolic spacer out and grind the corner off, which, you know, is fine. So I'm gonna mark that real quick. Got my Sharpie. Just give that a little mark. See if I can mark the exact, the exact contour. And we'll see if I can't just take that to the belt sander and make that better. So I cut that, set it back down there, and now it looks like we have room. This comes with some supplied hardware. Probably not going to use the supplied hardware. It's these big beast bolts. Um, I just don't really particularly love how they feel. As they go in. Actually, this might even be the wrong thread pitch. Um, that looks like one five needs to be one two five. So I'm gonna go get some new hardware for this anyway. Um, probably just reuse the factory bolts, why not, right? And bolt that down. And there's this nice tensioner piece that goes into the, oh, I believe the normal tensioner spot right there. And that holds your alternator nice and low and off to the side. Pretty rad. Well, after grabbing new hardware, these don't feel right going into the holes either, so I think I need to chase the threads. Um, like I said, there were some bolts that were loose on this motor when it came apart. Um, the bolts that held, this was where the AC was, um, the bolts that held that in place were some of the ones that felt kind of loose. So I think whoever put it, yeah, I'm looking down in there. That one is properly messed up. That might have to get helicoiled. This one here looks okay, but I'll run a run a tap through them just to check. Yeah, these feel pretty awful, just all gunked up. Um, if you've never seen these before, these are tap sockets. Um, they make them in a whole bunch of different sizes because the ends of the taps are all, they're not like a standard size. There's, I think, about six of them. So you always want to tap a little bit and then come back. Uh, I call that breaking the chip. Um, you do that so that it doesn't get gunked up as soon as you feel the tap start to bind it all. Now we're not actually threading this, I'm just chasing the gunk and the corrosion off the threads. Um, definitely once you feel it bottom out, you stop. You break a tap off inside one of these and you're going to have a real bad time fixing it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for the other two. This one I may have to drill out, this one here. May have to drill out in helicoil. It's pretty rough. Um, or I'll just see if I can tap it enough. It's not like it's super load bearing. It does have to hold an alternator and tension, but that's it. That's the only accessory. So it's not crazy critical. Um, so I might not helicoil it. I'll just count on the fact that it's gonna give me a little bit of strength once I you know, put new threads in it. And these two are gonna hold the brunt of the strength. So anyway, that's that. All right, so I set the alternator on. Looks pretty good. Um, basically, you just put a shorty belt um, from the crank pulley to the alternator, and then you tension it and put it down as far as it goes. Um, that is, that's as far as it goes without any modifications. So you can see if you wanted to try to bring it down more, you could potentially um, grind on the bottom of the alternator a little bit which would give you a couple more, uh, a couple of millimeters here is actually gonna be probably almost triple when you look at the, you know, you've got, this is your, your fulcrum point. Um, and so if you're, if you're at a third, that means if you take off one millimeter, it's gonna be three up here. Um, 
take off two, it's going to be six, etc. Uh, so you can gain quite a bit of distance by just a tiny little bit of, of modification. And again, you don't want things to touch. Even if this is bolted tight, this is a potential for a rattle, um, which is going to trip up the knock sensor. But you can see how cool this piece is. It just relocates uh, the alternator down, so there's plenty of room for an intercooler pipe to come around and then down to your intercooler. Um, or even around and down to your intercooler on this side, which is probably the route I'm going to go because the turbo comes across. So we'll come, <laughs> I was actually thinking about maybe coming kind of this way and around, although I don't know that that's going to be a big enough pipe there through this opening to run to like a kind of a funny, I was thinking about a V-top mount, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Probably just a front mount for now, and then look at other options down the road. More shameless product plugs. Um, this is the company that makes this alternator relocation. Um, Keen, made in Russia. He actually sends two stickers, unlike FIC, except they're two different colors. So, I mean, he's just going to blanket it. But he's a cool guy. He's a... Find him on Facebook, order his stuff. Um, it's all, you know, it's well-built iron. It's nothing... Nothing, you know, it's not exceptionally fancy or lightweight, but it gets the job done and it's durable. Um, and his shipping time is, is amazing considering it's coming from Russia. I think I ordered this and had it in like three days, you know, so. And that was from, because he custom colored it. You can basically tell him you want it any color. Um, so no, I have no, no relationship outside of just he builds cool parts. Not a sponsorship thing or anything, just I like to give credit where credit's due. So pick that one up um, if you're looking to rotate your manifold. Or even if you just don't like your alternator or you don't like your, your AC and you want to move your alternator to give yourself more room for activities over here, um, it's a good kit.